from Australia alone, he got about 400 letters. Oh. And he got, he got mail from all over Europe, places he never even heard of. So they picked right up on it. And, and they act. You get, you get response from them very fast. O'Donnell Levy on the phone live. He's calling from his home in Baltimore. And, of course, this is a big band jazz program right here in the Mohawk Valley of New York State on AM 95 WYBX, Utica, Row, New York. Are you playing this morning? Uh, yeah, we play, uh, the, we play the Cafe Pop Plaza. That's uh, Baltimore, real nice. <laughs> well, we have a lot of fun. I have to say thank you to the farm director. He just brought me some coffee. Thanks, Jerry. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. We're still here with our coffee, too. <laughs> 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 You can see we're very loose on this program. Right, right. <laughs> but um, your gigs are uh, pretty well established, then? Yeah, 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 pretty much. I mean, you probably, you know, I book stuff, uh, I guess, you know, like a month at a time. You know. Right. I mean, it's better, you know, except for the concert. We've been doing a lot of concerts. Uh, the college concerts. You know, we have um, an organization called Art Clan out of uh, Washington, who they sponsor. Now you mentioned that you had some students. Are you a teacher or is that in the clinic or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have. Well, I have some students on Tuesday. I have about uh, about thirteen in all. You know. How long have you been teaching? Uh, about a year and a half, almost two years. Oh, I see. Okay. And is there any uh, music in the family? Um, well, <coughs> yeah, well, my father, my father, well, that's really, he's the one that really got me interested. Hey, you know, don't blame him. Huh? Don't blame him. I didn't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't blame him. I didn't blame him. <laughs> 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 well, I'm sending you a note up there. <laughs> <laughs> the postman's going to have a real good note for you. <laughs> It was my father's fault. I blame him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up there. I'm, coming. I'm going to the airport right now. All right, come on up. <laughs> well, that's the opera. Oh, yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're saying he's he musical minded or what? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, they were like, you know, down home blues players. Mm -hmm. My father and my uncle, I remember they, you know, I was like seven, eight years old. I remember listening to him but, I, you know, I, I wasn't interested in music that much. My thing, main thing was art, you know. I was in school, drawing, painting, things like that. And because uh, I really wanted to be like a surgeon or something. You know, I was really going to be a surgeon or a lawyer, doctor or something like that. You know? uh, at the age of nine, I lost my eyesight, you know. And I was here at John Hopkins Hospital, and they removed my eyes three times. So that just eliminated me from doing, you know, anything like that. He's participating in. So it happened that I wind up playing guitar. How that happened, I mean, just was, you know, at the age of 16, I was across the street, played saxophone. He said, well, Donald, he said, why don't you come over to my house? I play saxophone. I need somebody to help me practice. So he started showing me three, you know, blues chords, and I would practice these blues chords while he played his horn. Uh, and then one thing led to another. Next thing I started meeting other musicians, and I really started to go up and eventually. So when I got out of high school, uh, the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation, uh, they gave me a choice. Just asked if I wanted to go to Maryland Institute of Arts for my art work, or if I wanted to go to Peabody Conservatory of Music. So, and you know, by that time, I was really, really interested in the guitar, so I said, well, I'll go to Peabody. And from that point on, you know, I just started studying classical guitar, which is okay, but at the time, I'm studying all this classical. I'm listening to Wes Montgomery, Kenny Burrell, Grant Green, Barney Kessel, you know, Joe Pass. And I'm playing, I'm saying, this is not right, you know, something. I just, the classical was fine. I really did well in school. I had no problems there at all. You want to go where your heart's at?